Shall we listen to another? Yeah, let's, let's do that. So this is an interview with Nellie Bundy. We don't know her age. She's probably, uh, no, excuse me, Manis Mizrahi. Sorry, 38 years old um, from Salonika, Greece. Oh. So Boder had, uh, I think, seven interviews with Greek Jews that were done in um, most, most of those were done in uh, the interviewee speaking Ladino, mm. Spanish, uh, Jewish, mm -hmm. Spanish uh, dialect, um, while Boder, who had lived in Mexico, we remember, spoke in Spanish. And they, he conducted the interview that way. Several of them interviewed in German, but Menes Mizrahi went to a private school in Salonika and learned to speak English and chose wow. to interview in English. And had been in years. Auschwitz, I take it, um, from Salonika. He, he had not been in Auschwitz. He had actually been in Bergen-Belsen, I believe. Hmm. Um, this is Spool 9-43B. The interviewee is Mr. Mizrahi, and he speaks English, November the 21st, 1950, Poland. Arrested 
already in deposit. A lot of Jews, Spanish Jews, were arrested and split with our family together. Yes. And uh, what was it? Kind of a raid at that time or what? It was a raid. It was a raid for the whole Spanish in order not to leave them the time to hide themselves because one day before they arrested all Greek citizens. Yes. Jews, of course. Yes. They, re they arrested the Greek citizens that were Jews, that were and now Greek. we can uh, arrest the Spanish citizens. Yes. Well, didn't you show your papers uh, from the consul? We showed our papers from the consul, but it <laughs> helped to nothing. All right. So then what did they do with the family? Go slowly, step by step. Then uh, they put us in uh, cars yes. and brought us in the Greek jail where we were obliged to sleep down without any help. They given us nothing to eat, nothing. We remained the whole day without yes. anything. So the family together? The family was together firstly. Yeah. Afterwards, they ordered us, the men, to go separately and the women from the other side. Yeah. So we remained there in the jail about 15 days. Yeah. And the 1st of April, we were obliged to leave the jail and they put us into the trains yeah. of beasts. Why do you call the trains of beasts? They were the because uh, there were closed trains where they are putting the <laughs> horses and mm -hmm. uh, the beasts. Were they clay trains with the openings uh, because animals were transported? No, they were closed, but they were with wires. With mm -hmm. wires? Yes. Yeah. Yeah? They were the wires. The wires were at the windows. Little window was there, yeah. uh, very high, and yeah, although yeah. they were afraid uh, not to, to look yeah. from what happened around, and so they put us there and they locked us the door so we couldn't get out for any necessary for any So that's a title of its own book, Trains of Beasts. Mm. Yes. What happened what what's the uh, the gist of his testimony? What happens to him? Both his parents murdered and he survives. Mm. Mm. I mean, that's the, the gist, but right. as you can tell, his, his, whole, his accented, pulsating English still moves detail by detail, mm. and in a way giving these twists of phrase that you would not come from a native right. speaker, but right. themselves become evocative. Mm -hmm. And one of the things, this was then done on an interview on August 12th, so Boder had been interviewing now for about two weeks. Mm. Um, and uh, so uh, two weeks with, I think, around uh, 35, 35, 40 interviews. So Boder, one sees, if you move, if you, if you go from the first that he does, to the second, to the fourth, to the eighth, you see him becoming more canny. Right. More knowledgeable, right. a sense that he what what perplexed him were that I find very appropriate to his trying to contend with this. What perplexed him at first, because it should perplex all of us, right. becomes no. But that but that strikingly doesn't stop him from often asking, as we see at this stage, very basic questions right. that he'll know about. Right. but that he wants to be there right. on the interview nevertheless because every interview was viewed as its own discrete right. package. Right. So it's okay to repeat basic information because each one has its own uh, integrity. 